Blaine Chinaman here, and today I want to talk about commemorative pieces, um, whether they're cups and saucers, plates, etc. People buy commemorative china to remember about, say, a trip they went on, etc. Um, I don't do this very often, but I did get some pieces when I made uh, two different trips to Europe in the past. Uh, these two cups and saucers, along with a few other pieces, um, were purchased on the first trip I made to Europe. And this cup and saucer, along with a mocha or coffee set, was purchased on the second time I went to Europe. I'll show you the coffee or mocha set in a future video at some point. In the first trip, neither of these pieces are um, commemorative in nature. They don't they don't tell the average person looking at them any type of a story. This piece, on the other hand, does. It's of an exact location, and I'll get to that in a minute. But for me personally, these do remind me of where I was and what I was doing. So as an example, this smaller cup and saucer was from a street vendor who had a small cart-like trailer that he had different things out and he had two of these and I bought them both. Actually, um, correction, he had one out, I bought it and then I walked back past him five minutes later and he had another one out that he'd replaced the one I'd bought. And so I bought the second one. A few minutes later I walked past, he had a third one out, I didn't buy the third one. I don't know how many of them he had, kept pulling them out of his hat basically. The interesting thing about this is this, so I remember it was in London, a street vendor. The cups and saucers upon close inspection don't actually match. This one is called the Brook. And then the bottom saucer is from Wedgwood. So they are different, which when I noticed that later, I was a little disappointed. Then I thought, you know, this is it's kind of an interesting little story, the street vendor that keeps pulling cups and saucers out of his hat. It's a funny little story, so I'm happy I got them. This one I bought in an actual antique mall in England. And this is um, by Royal Dalton. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the stamp on this one. There we go. Royal Dalton. And this is an oversized cup and saucer, or a breakfast cup and saucer. It has a lot more gold detail, which I'll show you on the inside, than most of the pieces you'll see on the market here. So it's, it's a very nice uh, cup and saucer. Now, on the second trip, I have, as an example here, an actual commemorative cup and saucer. This is St. Stephen's Cathedral in Vienna. So I obviously remember where I got this. It was in a little gift shop right next to St. Stephen's. So this is just an example of commemorative plates and cups and saucers. Again, for me, I don't do it that often unless it's a big trip, and I consider Europe a big trip. So I wanted some stuff to remember it by. If you like this video, please click the like button below. Subscribe. And I'll see you next time.